Jess, Lisa, the Veronicas, welcome to News Breakfast. Thank you so Thank much. You for having us. The single you've released and that you're going to sing for us in a moment, this is a real heart on your sleeve, no holds barred love song, right? <laughs> it, is. it is. It's one of the nice love songs. Yeah, we... but it does go back through um, like our history a little bit, which is always like, you know, nerve wracking when you put that out there. Thing, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit of a personal story for both of you, isn't yeah, it, Lisa? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is. It's um, it's sort of the the tale of, of love when you're younger and sort of life on the road for us and different relationships and experiences and how you sort of grow up I suppose and you find that you know back then all the kind of craziness living moment to moment the partying the the crazy schedules we kept it was such a high and, and such an adrenaline rush but now we're a little bit older and a bit more settled in life. It? Do you miss the wild laugh? <laughs> no. <laughs> not really. I think we, we, did we had our fix. It's Definitely. nice to not miss it. Any hesitation about putting that down on tape, though, about bearing your soul and your story so much? Um, I, I suppose we don't really think about it until after the song's written, because <laughs> when we're in that mode, it's just putting everything out there that we're feeling in that moment. And, and we've always done that as yeah. songwriters. You know, we always idolised people like Michael Jackson growing up, who I always felt like he was writing from his heart and his soul and mm. his experiences. So Nothing censored in that capacity, but... Um, but then after when it's like, oh, this song could be a single, girls, we want to release it, then it's like, oh, what did we say what again? Said? <laughs> what was the line about, yeah, okay, all right, well, yeah, sure, put it out. Well, what's the family going to think of that line about you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I think they're well, used well. to it now, thank goodness. But. <laughs> <laughs> You find it easy, easy to write songs together, and, and so you sound fantastic singing t together. But the, the songwriting yeah. process, because you're twins, do you find that comes easier than most? The most natural, it's amazing. That's yeah. how we started. I mean, we actually got signed as songwriters first, and that was just Jess and I writing with each other on an acoustic guitar. And from that, we experienced co-writing with all sorts of other people around yeah. the world. So I think that's sort of our little safe zone. It's where we feel the most comfortable. That's where it began. Was there a moment that you can share with us in the audience where it all came together? I imagine it probably happened when you were very young, when something happened in that moment, playing, noodling around on the guitar, where you yeah. look at each other and think, there's something here. Yeah, yeah. I think we were sitting on um, the floor in my bedroom in Albany Creek, Brisbane, and <laughs> I just got a guitar for my birthday. And, um, and we started just, I learnt four chords, that's all I knew. And I was playing around with this combination. I was like, that sounds quite good. And I got Lisa and I was like, come listen to this. And I had like a little melody on something. And she started singing something over the top. And it just, it just came so naturally. And I think we were singing about some girl at school that I had hurt my feelings or something, <laughs> or something silly like that. <laughs> like, why don't you understand me or something, some song like that. And we just wrote it. We just wrote out this whole song on these four chords. Mm -hmm. And it was really, it felt like that was really the beginning moment for it just the rest of that week we just were like oh we've discovered this thing that we can do where we can write these songs that make you feel a certain way and we just wrote that whole week it's and we just never stopped yeah, yeah. <laughs> Any yes. arguments in the songwriting process? Oh, oh yeah. Please tell. Plenty. We, we feel, uh, we call them, um, what do we call them? Creative, creative differences. differences. Yeah, yes. that's, that's what they say. Yes. 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 A lot sometimes of therapy for those creative differences. Okay. You know, a shoot of the head so sometimes. Who, who usually wins? <laughs> uh, <laughs> whoever's got the better idea. Yeah, we, we, feel, we find that when we fight in a session, it's usually for the betterment of the song. Yeah. So I, I would, I'm down. If Jessie sort of wants to fight me on an idea and she passionately believes it's better, I'm we, into that. Uh, we respect that. Yeah, we do. And I loved every minute of it. And we're still in the middle of it. It's a song that reflects where you are at the moment. You're both in uh, committed relationships as well. Do, do, do who you would find... have thought? Yes, who would have thought? <laughs> do, you, do you find that stability helps you as, as songwriters? Well, it's we're, we're learning how to yeah. take the, the creative space from being the kind of angsty, vengeful love stuff to actually very happy and, and content in, in yeah. love and life. And I think this song is a really beautiful representation of that. It's certainly uh, so much more beautiful to have a partner 
while you're having a career who supports you and it's not mm. like you know so much of that can take your attention that distracting the, yeah it distracts you from so much of your life that you know you have to channel that into the music and that's where those songs the angsty songs come from or the heartbreak songs come from and then when you're in such a beautiful supported happy place you know songs like only high come along because it's looking back over that time where it was like wow i wasn't present in those moments everything was a distraction from you know from being and appreciating what was around me and now I am so happy and I'm with this person who's shown me so much and given me so much love. You're with uh, Ru yeah, Ruby Rose, who of course Australian yes. audiences will be very familiar with. And yes. uh, I think you're engaged to, to Logan Huffman, is that right, Lisa? <laughs> yes. Thank you, you, giggle for, it, you giggle Thank you for that. talking about my love life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, um, I'm no. familiar with twins. So I, I know how this works. So <laughs> I've got to keep it absolutely even. even. That's no, we're both very, very happy and very uh, lucky. What's interesting about that, I mean, it, it just appears this way to me from the outside, but I might be wrong, that maybe that stability or that connection has given you a great sense of strength. I've noticed you, you know, out in public, say, you know, taking on the front foot sometimes, you know, the, the crap that you might cop about, you yeah. know, how you look and your weight yeah. and the like, and you, yeah. you fight fire with fire. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah we're, we're very, um, you know, strong women. We, we were raised that way. Um, and, you know, we've always been each other's rocks, which has been amazing and so incredible. But then to have partners, you know, it's so crucial when you grow up and you really, you find someone who can be your rock, who can be that person that you can share all the good and the bad with and that they really help give you perspective. And um, yeah, it's really honestly, the greatest gift. We're very blessed with our partners. They're incredible people. Well, uh, we better hear this love song then. I mean, <laughs> everyone at home are thinking, I hope it can work that same magic for me. <laughs> What's it called? It's, it's called, called The Only High. High. So nice having you on the program. Thanks so much for Thank joining you. us. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.